NATO's air superiority, a bedrock of its military dominance since the Cold War, faces a formidable test against Russia. This stark reassessment comes as experts and strategic analysis recalibrate the capabilities of NATO's aerial fleet, particularly the F-16 fighter jets against a backdrop of advanced Russian defense systems. The enduring myth of Western aerial invincibility is being rigorously challenged as the complexities of modern warfare and technological advancements shift the blame. As tensions escalate, the strategic calculus of air combat reveals a sobering reality, marking a significant pivot in NATO's military doctrine and readiness. Welcome to TFI Global, the antidote to mass delusion. Business Insider recently pointed out that NATO has never encountered a foe quite like Russia since World War II. Establishing air superiority over Russian forces would be no small feat. As experts have soberingly noted, the F-16 fighter jets, a cornerstone of many NATO forces, won't be the magic bullet that Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky and his Western allies are hoping for. Russia could challenge NATO's historical air dominance, the media declared on July 13, marking a shift from the post-Cold War era when the West held a clear advantage. Russia is a very different opponent, boasting the territory and industry to create and deploy formidable air defenses that any adversary would struggle to overcome. The US and its allies, even with fleets of fifth-generation stealth fighter jets, would likely find it difficult to establish the same level of air dominance they have enjoyed since World War II, reported the New York-based outlet. Experts cited by the portal highlighted that Western aviation lacks experience in combating air defense systems on par with Russia's. During the Ukraine conflict, the Russian military demonstrated its capability to create highly challenging air defense zones with powerful radars, electronic warfare systems, and missiles. The article warned of the possibility of Russia executing a surprising and impactful opening attack, such as targeting satellites to disrupt the space-based communications and navigation that NATO air power relies on. That's a healthy dose of fake news, but that's how the media operates. Anyway, concerns about Russia establishing air superiority over NATO, especially its 30 European members, grew more serious after Russian forces systematically obliterated Ukraine's air force. The dismantling was so effective that Kiev regime is now desperately seeking F-16 fighter jets from Western allies to replenish its fleet, despite experts labeling the aircraft as obsolete and unlikely to survive the conflict. As soon as the Ukrainians encountered Russian-controlled airspace, the F-16's value would diminish markedly, as would its likelihood of survival, wrote Harrison Kass for national interest. In a conflict with a greater power, China for example, the F-16 would remain on the back bench, he further added. This revelation is significant given that the US operates over 900 F-16s and NATO members including Turkey, Greece, Poland and Romania use 100 more, alongside non-US NATO allies like Israel, Taiwan and South Korea. Essentially, the F-16 would be rendered most useless against Russia, whose military is ranked second just above China, according to the 2024 Power Index. Cass cautions Kiev that the F-16's good performance in Iraq and Afghanistan doesn't guarantee its effectiveness against Russian air defenses. He emphasizes the F-16 fight in Falcon era is coming to a rapid end, concluding that the US-made fighter jet will not offer a magic bullet for Zelensky and will merely buy a little more time. Russian President Vladimir Putin has warned that F-16 supplied to Kiev will be destroyed just like any other Western military equipment. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov also asserted that their presence in Ukraine will not alter the front lines and will be destroyed like other weapons. Despite this, in 2023, several NATO states agreed to supply the Ukrainian armed forces with fighter jets and initiated training programs for Ukrainian pilots. On July 10th, US Secretary of State Antony Blinken announced that 
the US and its allies are underway in sending the promised F-16 fighter jets to Ukraine. The reluctance of Europe and the US to pursue a viable, pragmatic and lasting peace agreement in Ukraine that recognizes Russian interests and establishes a lasting solution prolongs the conflict. This not only has humanitarian consequences but also weakens their own military capabilities. While NATO members focus on training Ukrainian pilots to use fighter jets that are essentially obsolete against a greater power, Russia, as Business Insider has acknowledged, has successfully challenged the air dominance that NATO has largely enjoyed since the Cold War began, despite the reduction of Generation 5 fighter jets. In a sense, NATO's air superiority is not what it once was, and the F-16s, rather than being a game-changer, might just be relics of a bygone era in the face of Russia's formidable defenses.